So today we woke up at around 7am to go pick up Amy from Philly first and I'm not a morning person so this was not very fun for me. This is Amy. Hi guys, I'm here now. I do consider myself a morning person but not today because I went to bed at 4am yesterday night. But we are now in DC and as you can tell we're a little bit lost. This is Karina and I walking. It's Karina tripping. <laughs> And that's us continuing to walk. Yep, so then we realized we parked in the wrong spot. So then we had to drive back to the main part of DC. Today was such a beautiful day to walk around DC because there's like literally not a cloud in the sky. Okay, well, there's some clouds there. But anyways, besides those clouds, we then took scooters down to the center part of DC. I am. Oh, so cute. Pose, pose. We had a little bit of time to spare before our restaurant reservation, so to feed Karina's developing boba addiction, we stopped by this really cute shop called Teaism. It doesn't even have a satisfying tea crunch. Oh, wait, it's kind of good. This is our first vlog together. We're not sure if you guys can hear us. Yeah, we'll figure it out later, I guess. So Karina got a bubble tea. Very delicious, 10 out of 10. It's from this place called Teaism, which like specializes in Japanese loose leaf tea in DC. For lunch, we headed on to this place called Cranes in DC, and it's pretty fancy. It's like a Spanish, Japanese, Spanish, Singaporean, Mexican, something restaurant. Anyways, fusion. No Mexican. Uh, yes, anyways, very good. So we got these amazing lunch bento boxes and Karina explained what's in it. Okay, so this is cauliflower. This is octopus in apple marinade. Pork dumpling. Pepper. I think that's rice, but is it? And then that's cheese. I think the rice dish with the raw egg in it was definitely one of my favorites. Even though I'm not a fan of raw food, this was still good. And then the bows were also okay. Not a fan of the pickles. So then we finished our plates, of course, and walked to City Center DC and saw these really pretty lanterns, which were like pink and just everywhere. And Karina took a few pictures with them, which you can see on her Instagram, which is tagged below. And also follow my Instagram because I don't post that much, but it's there. Shameless plug. Then to feed my caffeine addiction, I got an oat milk latte from Zeke's Coffee. Oh, it's good. Our next stop was Walmart to pick up some things to grill for dinner and I don't record much of the car ride but then we arrived to our Airbnb and it was so beautiful. There's a pond, they said. <laughs> it looks like a you muddy know, swimming in it. <laughs> Enter the abode. And then over here is a nice little sitting area with a stove and a TV and a very beautiful painting on the wall. A stove. A fireplace. Same thing. Look at this kitchen. It's so beautiful. Look at their spice rack. And they have a toaster. Okay. Um, is this butter open? Mm-hmm. Okay. You may go first. Cows. Here's cows. Okay, so we got enough to make four burgers and s'mores. 
I took this time to start on my AP Lit homework because it was due like the next day and I had not started. Relatable. Oh, I'm also reading. What were you gonna say? I wasn't gonna say anything. We're really bad at narration, guys. And reading a new book that I started um, last week called Uncanny Valley. It's about a girl who used to work in publishing who then moved into the tech industry. I'm only around halfway through it, but it's pretty good so far. I have my cup of tea. It is an apple cinnamon tea. Oh, it's so good. It literally just tastes like warm apple cider. So for dinner, we made burgers and we seasoned our patties because season your food, kids. And we put salt and pepper. That is pepper and oregano. Did we put oregano on there? I don't think you did. I think you put paprika. Wait, no. Anyways, put paprika on your burgers too. It's very good. So then we watched the sunset, which is... Oh, oh wait, what's happening mean. there? <laughs> Selfie time. So now we're watching the sunset and look at that nice zoom. Oh, wow. whoa. So then we finished grilling the burgers. Well, actually Amy finished grilling the burgers. I did literally nothing to help. But anyways, after we finished grilling the burgers, mm -hmm. after we finished grilling the burgers, <laughs> I helped. We assembled them and it was time to dig in. Oh, really? Oh, no, that's fine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I have to admit that on this vacation, I ate so much more than I normally would and you know, the old me would have probably just said I'll do another minute of planks to make up for all the calories But I think it's all about the mindset and being aware of and trying to actively change your own It's so perfectly melted I think it's because I roasted it like over slow heat. So like it wasn't burnt. Mm -hmm. So the inside was like blue. Okay, she said, like, how is it? Mmm. It's like cold. <laughs> but yours is probably gonna be really warm. Sure for Liti for Jiga. How many points out of ten? Don't fire me. Bart! Ooh. We then attempted to watch a movie as a family, but we spent too long picking it out, so instead we just sat there for like 15 minutes. Also, does anyone know what this movie is? Because I totally forget, and I feel like I'm obligated to finish watching it now. Name the mystery movie. In the hot tub, looking cute. Ooh. Feeling itchy. Why are you feeling itchy? I don't know. I think it was the jets. I think I have a really dry back, so the jets made my back really dry. Heard it here first, you two. <laughs> now you all know my secret. I have a dry back, and I'm not ashamed of it. I look like a mess, but we're finally done with the day, and... Now I'm gonna go take showers, so then I'm just gonna head to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Day two, we woke up bright and early again and it was really nice outside. There was actually this really pretty pink sunrise, but as I said, I'm not a morning person. I was not very happy, as you can see. I then tried waking Amy up, but she's a very, very grumpy morning person. And hey. so I decided to instead make some pancakes for her because I'm such a good sister. So wow. I brought the pancake batter out of the fridge, which I so lovingly made. And then I grilled them over the stove. As I mentioned before, I am an absolute god at making pancakes. Okay, maybe maybe not so much, but I blame it on the pot. No, they Pan. were pretty good. I know, they were good. But 
plate demolished. It's a good breakfast. It was. So then I made some sandwiches for lunch. Put some burger sandwiches? sauce on them. Yes. No. Put some. What else did I put on the sandwiches? That's burger sauce. Oh, you said that? Cheese. Cheese. Yes, I see that. Oh, turkey. Smoked turkey from the night before that we got from Walmart. And then we also put some avocado and lettuce on, but we didn't show that. Yes. A little bit sad to go. This has definitely been one of the most relaxing days in the past few weeks. And yeah. Wave to the camera. You have to come up here too. Then we headed on to our next stop, which is the Skyline Drive, and on to hiking in the Shenandoahs. Selfie time. Well, video time actually. Yes. I want to be in it. Oh, the lighting is really good from here. It is really good. Wow, it looks so good. Okay, but the view, look at the view, the view. I am right the view. Okay. She said the view was pretty. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I said I was pretty and you said the view was prettier, so. She thought the view was pretty and I agreed. So we started on our first trail, which was called Bear Fence Trail, and it was super quick, but also a lot of rock climbing. I have a stick, it's very large. It's very straight. <laughs> a big stick. Yeah. Okay, time to rock climb. Speak softly and carry a big stick, I think. That was like a small man with a big stick. <laughs> <laughs> The dangerous rock scramble. Yeah, mom's really good at this. Woo! Wait, yes. Go Stay join up. him. It's like a panoramic view. A wild Karina spotted in her natural habitat. This isn't the Discovery Channel, mate. And then we went to Rose Falls. That was an awful accent. And here's me looking pretty in front of the waterfall. And then we decide to eat our sandwiches because nothing beats eating a sandwich under the noise of a waterfall when you can't even hear your own thoughts. What a vibe. And that's me eating my sandwich and my dad asking to take a bite. Whenever he asks to take a bite of a sandwich, he just eats the whole thing. And that was the end of our time in the Shenandoahs. Next up was a four hour drive home, which is so thrilling. Hey, <laughs> I didn't know you recorded that. That's why you have back pains. Anyways, the drive back was awful, but I also had a meatball sub on the way. Didn't record that, but I did. And so I ate a lot today. So then we arrived home and I said hi to Jack and I can't imagine going away for an extended period of time like college because I just miss him so much. But then I was hungry again so I ate half of the burger that we had from last night. And yes, we were about to have dinner in two minutes but I did not care. And yes, I am eating this with a fork. Why did your accent gradually get more American? Because I'm not British. Anyways, we had a beef noodle soup for dinner, uh, which was really good. Our grandparents made it special with this sort of red dye this time. And oh, I'm putting a lot of beef on there. I'm trying to be vegetarian, but you know, we'll get there eventually. This Sub is the burger you ate yesterday. <laughs> Shh, they don't have to know about that. This is Karina eating her beef noodle soup, putting some veggies in. Slurp. I hate vegetables. Karina doesn't like veggies. I don't, it's a fact. And so we're on to day three. Today we woke up early again because my family just loves doing that. And here's Amy again with her morning grumpiness. I mean, look at that face. And then I made my oatmeal bowl because I can't go a day without oatmeal. So here it is in all its beauty. And I just ate that. Mm. 
So we drove all the way out to Lancaster County to see the snow geese fly. And this is us just walking over to the location, putting on our masks, and this is the geese and someone who's really excited to see them. But there were a lot of geese covering the lake and they were supposed to fly, so we brought binoculars and everything, but they didn't fly, so here's some stock footage. Reality. More reality. <laughs> but it was still a beautiful day, so then we went to visit the Amish country and there were these cute horse wagons, and I think this part is very self-explanatory. So we're petting some horses. Wait, no, these are some mules, but they were really cute. And then there was this really rambunctious goat that just wanted food and it was so energetic and cute. And here's another little goat, so many of them. And look at all those chickens. And then I really wanted to pet this weird bird that was making these hissing noises and walking around and like doing that Thing with its neck. Does anyone know what this bird is? Because I don't know what this bird is and it freaks Muscovy me Muscovy ducks, a common sight throughout South Florida neighborhoods. Muscovies are ducks with long, flattened tails, large claws for feet, and their heads are covered in a pinkish like red. It was wagging its tail. Is that a mating ritual? Is it greeting me? Is it like a dog? I don't know, and it scares me. But eventually, I racked up the nerve to go and pet it, and then it started biting my shoe, so again, I ran away in fear. I think it was flirting with you. Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> and next, we went to a farmer's market called Bird in Nest, Bird in Hand, Bird something. And then we got these whoopie pies, and these are a staple of Amish cuisine. Are that they, was though? Probably not. <laughs> They're also really known for their dairy products. So we got some ice cream and I got a espresso flavored one. And I got a chocolate chip cookie one with chunks of chocolate chip cookie. And they were both really good. And then I was hungry, but the rest of my family wasn't. So I decided to do takeout and got this butter noodle, roast beef sandwich, and mashed potatoes and gravy dish, which in retrospect, probably not the best idea. It made me feel really lethargic and full and just awful for the rest of the day. But then we got sushi for dinner, so I couldn't pass up sushi. So instead, I just stuffed my face even more and literally laid in bed for the rest of the day because I could not move. Totally worth it though. Yeah, this is really good sushi. This is the black dragon roll and it's our absolute favorite as a family. It was pretty good. Salmon avocado, also a classic. Can't go wrong with that. I then also got some miso soup because obviously you just have to have miso soup, like it's not even a debate. And we ended off our day just eating sushi together as a family, very wholesome. We were all super tired and yeah. We should do this more often. Yeah, we should do this, except you're at college. I'll come back just for sushi and for you, but mostly for sushi. You would never come back for me. Then you should come down to Philly. There's really good sushi there. I should do that when it gets warmer. Hint, 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 hint. Hint. Pose. In all seriousness, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you want to see next. Maybe a Philly video. Ooh. I'll see you in our next video. Bye. Should we have a catchphrase? It's too late for that. We'll come up with the catchphrase next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.